It's a very exciting day because we're here to pick up the newest parts for the Naughty 42.0 build. We've got new parts, we're stealing old parts, and then we're going to go see our favourite fabricator and start discussing the future plans for this thing behind me. I'm super excited. Roll the intro. Well, it's been pretty hard to keep a dwiz size secret from you guys, but here we are. We're about to crack this open and let a whole bunch of cats out of the bag as to the plans for the future of the Naughty 42.0. Then we're gonna head up to the diff graveyard and start rummaging for some parts that we're gonna need to get this thing on the road. Let's crack into it. This work of art is the new Dwiz diff housing for the Naughty 42.0. Now, oh, I'm super excited. This has been a long time coming and actually something I wanted to do to the original car. Obviously that was stolen, so I knew as soon as I got the replacement vehicle, this was gonna be one of the first mods we did. Now, you're probably used to seeing Dwiz housings finished, painted, uh, coated with all the bracketry on, ready to bolt into vehicles like 79s for track corrections, GUs, GQs, 105s, 80s, and all that kind of thing. We were lucky enough to work with the team at Dwiz to get a housing that hadn't had the brackets welded on, so it was just a bare housing and hadn't been coated yet, and that's for a couple of big, major reasons. Now, this isn't an 80 series housing, this is actually a GU front housing, so the Naughty 42.0 is getting a big, staunch front end. It's gonna allow us to run those much bigger, much stronger GU front diff centers and that kind of thing, which is gonna be perfect because the amount of power this new car is gonna be pushing, well, it's gonna need all the help it can get. The beautiful thing about Dwiz housings is that they are an Australian-based company and all the diffs are manufactured right here in Queensland, so Aussie made goodness. They also accept all the OEM parts and that kind of thing, and one of my favorite features about them is that they've got a patented inner tube and blocking design which means they're basically braced from standard super strong but you don't have to run those massive gussets on the top side or bottom side hindering clearance to things like the ground or the sun plus they've got an integrated recovery point or a tie down point on the front side of the housing built into that inner tube as well. So you do have a whole bunch of options for suck down winches, you've got options for uh, tying the vehicle down to trailers and that kind of thing. We've got a lot of plans for this thing. None of them are gonna happen while it's in a crate here. Let's jump upstairs to the diff graveyard where we're gonna try and find a 4-1 center, knuckles, ball joints, all that kind of stuff to help make this all work. And then we've got a very exciting trip out west which we'll talk about in a second. Well, we're up here in the Diff Graveyard, and it's pretty lucky that Dave's such a patrol fan because it made rummaging through these parts super easy. Now, we've already got a driver's side hub assembly, brake, uh, and all that sort of stuff downstairs ready to go. We just have to grab the passenger side, which is this. Obviously, that bare Dwiz housing needs everything, so we needed all the steering arms, calipers, brakes, hubs, all that sort of gear, which is, exact, is exactly what this is. Now over here is you versus the guy she told you not to worry about. We've got a cruiser front diff compared to a GU front diff. Now, we needed something very specific. We needed a front GU patrol diff, 4-1 ratio, high pinion, um, and that's exactly what Dave had here for us. And you can see when you compare these, just how much bigger and beefier a GU patrol diff is when you compare it to a cruiser. Now we're aiming for hundreds of horsepower, well over 600, 700 horsepower. So a big, strong, staunch front diff was gonna be exactly what we needed. For now, we're just gonna chuck all this in the car, basically as we go with the suspension so that the car can move around on its tires. And then when it's go time, we're gonna bring the car back with these diffs uh, and we'll get Dave to build them up, chuck those Harrop E-lockers in that we have for the front and rear, and we'll be good to go. Now, one of the reasons we wanted a high pinion front diff was because of this, let me show you. If we rotate this very heavy, awkward thing around, you can see that the flange and the pinion, I guess, is sort of on the higher side of that diff, it's not down in the center. And that's basically just gonna help us get the best possible pinion angle that we can. Um, now, not all GU diffs are like this. Some are in the center, some are high pinion. So we really specifically were chasing a high pinion and that's exactly what we've got here. So I reckon it's time for me to slip another disc in my back. We'll lug these downstairs, chuck them in the car and hit the road. we 
spent about an hour or two mulling everything over with Matt and the Kinsella Customs team, and I think we've come up with a game plan which is super exciting. We all know that front 80 series diff is not going to hack it, so we've got that gorgeous GU Dwiz housing to put under here. Now, it's not just going to bolt in, we're going to need a whole lot of fabrication work, a whole lot of custom stuff, links, coilovers, you name it, the front of this car is going to be getting it. We've also been here speaking about 360 bar work and some insane rear suspension. We're going to wait and see, we're going to wait and tell you that in another episode. In the engine bay, there is actually more real estate than what we first thought. That's one of the reasons we had to come out here so we could just eyeball it. Max and the guys at HD Automotive sent in some measurements um, for the engine swap that we're doing and we reckon the clearance is gonna be plenty. Obviously that one I said is going in the bin so we're not too fussed about that. Oh, I cannot wait, I'm like a bloody dog with two tails. This is gonna be one of the wildest wagons around in Australia. I can't wait to bring you guys along for the ride. For now, we have to wait. Matt's about to head up to King of the Hammers for his buck so we're gonna let him enjoy that and uh, well, he can get stuck in when he gets back. Guys, if you've loved this episode, you're excited for more Naughty 42.0 content, make sure you hit the subscribe button, drop a comment below with some mods that you might like to see on this car. Make sure you like the video, send it to all your mates, and guys, we'll see you next time. Well guys, the end of this video, I just wanted to take a quick moment out of it to thank you guys, pretty much. 2023 was always gonna be the year of growth, and we've kicked it off with a massive milestone. We hit 40,000 subscribers on YouTube, and well, the end goal for the end of this year is 100,000, and with your guys' help, I know for a damn fact that we're gonna be able to do it. I can't thank you guys enough. Everyone that comments, likes the videos, shares them around, subscribers of all my social media channels, plus, of course, the sponsors and supporters of the channel that help make this whole thing possible. Guys, a massive thank you. 2023 is the year I'm doing it all for you guys. I wanna bring you more of the content you love, more giveaways so that I can give back to you guys. Uh, go on more trips, show you around Australia, and build one of the most insane 80 series Land Cruisers uh, wagons that this country has ever seen, and then tour the country with them, all the full drive shows, so you guys can see it in person. That's the goal at least, and with your guys' help, I'm pretty damn sure I can do it. I also wanted to take a quick moment to just remind you that last week's episode has an insane $600 Mongoose GPS tracker giveaway and that takes to Automotive Superstore. So if you haven't watched last week's episode and you think, hey, you know what, I'd like to win a GPS tracker for my vehicle so it doesn't get stolen like this guy's did, then you need to go back to last week's episode on how to theft-proof your four-wheel drive or vehicle, watch the video, all the information is in the video, you have to subscribe to the channel, drop a comment on that video, and then in next week's episode, guess what guys, I'm gonna be announcing a lucky couple of winners to win these awesome Mongoose GPS trackers so you can protect your pride and joy too. Guys, 2023 is going to be an absolute hoot. We're already here with the stock 80 series getting it sent on Stockton Beach, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. All the best. Let's kick 2023 off with a bang. Massive thanks. Get after it. Today, because we're picking up the first lot of parts for the Naughty 40 2.0 build. This. Imagine driving a fucking Chevy Silverado thinking you're a sick. You are. You are a sick. Just don't do it in the middle of my take, anyway, shall we? Woo Hi, I do YouTube, now you watch, enjoy, like, subscribe, I go pub. Bye.